Hey girl, hey. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today I'm doing a um, science, I was gonna say bubbles, but that's just my thumbnail. I'm doing a little bit of science projects for you guys. These are winter related science projects. You guys seem to be liking my science projects, so here's another one. This video is also a huge collaboration with some of my awesome friends here on YouTube. Today I am collabing with Breland, also known as Buddha Forever 17, Rosalie from Rosalie Says Rar, Chrissy from Glamour Life Fox, and Kristen Leanne. Make sure to go watch other videos. I'm gonna link all of them down below. And we're just gonna go ahead and get straight on to this video because I'm not home and it's freaking cold out here and I need to finish this now. So, um, let's get on to the video. Woo! The first project we're gonna try out is called Santa Toothpaste. It's basically like a volcano. I'm using a water bottle and I'm also using a container to hold everything as it comes out because this can get very messy. You're going to need hydrogen peroxide or also known as hair developer. Well, this is what people use to dye their hair. So your mom probably has this. If she doesn't, you can find it at your local beauty supply store. And I'm using half a cup of this. I'm also going to add some green food coloring. You could add whatever color you want it to be. And then I'm going to add some peppermint extract just so I could have the whole candy cane, the whole Christmas smell or whatever. And I'm adding some green and red glitter to this just to be a little bit more festive. The next thing you want to add is some dish soap and there's not a certain amount, just add a generous amount and swirl it so it could mix together but do not shake it. Then we're going to add some yeast, I'm adding a tablespoon and a half along with three tablespoons of water and just mix it together until it's a liquid and until there's no more clumps and if you feel that you need another tablespoon or two of water then go ahead and do that. And that's it, now what we do is just pour it into the mixture, it should automatically start to erupt and that's all you do it's kind of like a fun little project for kids and it's actually really fun to see I also went ahead and added more glitter to this as it erupted because it just looked fun and festive and you couldn't see the glitter that I added originally I was also really curious to see how it would be with a bigger container so I went ahead and doubled the measurements and I ended up liking this one better because it shoot higher and it was just coming out way faster and I don't know I think this is a fun project to try I feel like this is just a fun sight to see and I can see kids definitely enjoying this and you can also play with it as well. Get your hands in it. This next project is my favorite. I actually had way too much fun with this. It's really easy to make though and I know it looks complicated but it's not. Start off with a side bowl with dish soap and water just like you would do with any other bubbles. And then you need some hot water. I'm just using this container that had lemonade in it. It only looks green because I added food coloring. But it didn't even make a difference with the color so that was pointless. And then you're going to need some dry ice. I got this at my local market so I'm guessing they have it everywhere. Now when you work with this you need gloves. And I actually double them on one hand because you cannot touch this with your hands. With your bare hands. This will burn your flesh. Dry ice is extremely cold. The last thing you need is some kind of hose or a tube. And I'm just using the one from my vacuum. Kind of weird and it's not going to ruin it though so don't worry about it. So I'm using my vacuum one. I just placed it on top of my lemonade container and then dipping the other side into my dish soap and then it creates bubbles. This looks so complicated. I know it does because I thought it looked complicated but it's so simple and it's way too much fun you guys. After that I actually just added all the ice into the dish soap and this is what happened. It was just a bunch of bubbles and it's funny because it wasn't even wet bubbles. It's just a bunch of dry bubbles and it makes smoke so it's really cool to play with. This next project is the easiest one. All you need is food coloring, some balloons, some water, and a freezer. All you do is add some water and food coloring to your balloon. I'm adding food coloring first, then adding water. Shake it up a little bit I guess and tie it up. Put them in a bowl and put them on the freezer overnight. And that is it. When you wake up to your balloons, they should be nice and frozen. You just rip them open and you are all done. I think these will be really fun if you have snow. They are super pigmented and kids can use it to paint some snow. And you can also just play with it. And it's just a fun little project for kids. And that is all the projects I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this video. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment down below. I'm talking too fast. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to link everybody's video down below. So don't forget to go head out to watch their videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. 